Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened with uh, the part of the last video that was about the analogy, but here's the rest of the analogy, okay? So my mother has in her kitchen this valuable cookbook which was, which belonged to my grandmother, my abuela. Now all of those recipes are in Spanish, okay? So the cookbook is the DNA, all right? So our genomes, which can, we can think of like the cookbook, okay, it, it contains all the instructions, all of the recipes for all the stuff that makes up the cell, right? But if I want to make something at my own home, I can't take my mother's cookbook out of her kitchen. So here in this analogy, the DNA is like the cookbook. So how am I going to get those recipes home so I can make those delicious dishes for my abuela? Well, I can copy down those individual genes or recipes onto recipe cards. And here, an RNA is like a single recipe card from the thousands of genes in the cookbook or the genome. Okay, So I can write down a recipe card for whatever recipe it is I want to make, and I can take that home with me. I can take it out of the kitchen, and then I can translate that recipe, which is written down on this card, All right, and I can use all of the ingredients and translate that recipe into some delicious dish using the ingredients in my kitchen. And for proteins, remember the monomer of proteins are amino acids in a specific sequence that fold up into secondary structures that fold up into tertiary structures of a protein. And we'll talk more about how proteins and enzymes can help make up the rest of the material in a cell.